Alright guys, back with another video on, yeah, I know my hair is a mess, but back with another video on how to actually gain muscle in your core, so gain abs, and maintain that core stabilization and that core strength during this uh, pandemic, during this quarantine. Because we all know once we get back into the gym, that core stabilization is what we're going to need to do the heavy squats, the heavy deadlifts, the heavy benches, um, any powerlifting, any uh, one rep max type of movement. So, yeah, as we all know, we're going to need that core stabilization, and that's the main thing. We don't want that to go away. Yeah, you can have muscular atrophy in your legs, glutes, upper body, but if you maintain that core and that stabilization, you'll get back to the gym and you'll get back to hitting those PRs much, much quicker. So I'm just gonna put you guys through a quick superset on what I do. I'm gonna put you through the movements uh, that I do, this quick supersets to maintain and uh, stabilize your core during this pandemic. I'm not gonna go to failure on them because I am fasting. All you're gonna need is a powerlifting belt and if you don't have one, that's fine. You can still brace your core, but here you go. I'm going to tell you guys the quick movements on how to maintain. Okay, the first thing of the superset is you're going to want to do any type of ab, ab movement with an eccentric and a concentric portion. So not like a plank where you're just in one position. Something with an eccentric and concentric portion. Something like a bicep curl that you actually move. So you can pick any exercise you like. Um, a crunch, a sit-up, you know, those mountain things, whatever you want. So the first thing we're going to be doing is one of those hip hinge movements with a concentric and eccentric. Not like a plank, but something that you can actually move. So one, this will actually fatigue the muscle and help us for the rest of our superset, I'd like to say. Yeah, this will help us fatigue the muscle really quickly so that our muscle, our abs, our core is in a state to be further worked, to be maintained. We're going to put some stress on the core. And this is the first step to it. Stay tuned. Okay, now, once you've done your crunches or your setups, now that you've got the, your core very fatigued, you're going to want to hit it with a static movement. A static movement. So, a plank. A plank, for example. You can pick a plank or you can pick one of, if you have those things that you hold onto the wall and keep your legs up, you know, a static movement without an eccentric or concentric. Like, for a static movement, other than a core movement, for example, if you're doing a pull-up, a hold, a hold until failure, that's a static movement. So... First step, you're going to do like a crunch or a sip, something with an eccentric and concentric portion. Number two of the superset, without any rest, do static movement for your abs, so it's something like a plank. Okay? And once you're done that, okay, and once you're done that, you want to do a normal movement. Now, without any rest, after those two movements, your core is going to be pretty fatigued. So you're still going to use your core, but this is going to be a main movement that is not 100% your core. For example, a bodyweight squat or an incline push-up because incline push-ups are actually superior into engaging your core than a normal push-up. So you're going to want to, after those two movements, this is the last segment of the superset or the third, you're going to want to do a normal squat, you know. If you have weights, that's better. If you don't, then really do that squat until failure and try to engage your core and I'm pretty sure your core will be engaged after the last two movements in the superset with no rest. And last but not least this is just to add a cherry on top whether you decide to do this or not but it's better if you do have a belt if you don't what I like to do with no rest again after those three movements I like to put on the belt and if you don't have one that's fine you just go fully like halfway parallel break parallel with your squat and just Exert force, exert force throughout your belly to give that tension, to relearn those power lifting cues. Yeah, so you want to you wanna push out with your belly, for example, like you're doing a one rep max. You want to exert a, a lot of force and stabilize your core with a belt or without a belt, but that just adds cherry on top. All right, now I'm going to go through the movements with you really. All right, so we are going to start with uh, the movement to actually fatigue the muscle and break down the muscle the first part of the super set I'm gonna go with the crunch again I'm not going to failure I'm just showing you what this will look like because I am fasting sit up crunch whatever you want to do whatever eccentric or concentric movement you do really focus on the eccentric 
Pause. And then go up. Whether it be your crunch or whatever. So that's the first part of the movement. You want to do that close to failure. Or if you want to go to failure, that's better. Uh, and then without any rest. I'd like to go for a plank because I don't have any other equipment for static holds. So you just go for a plank. You want to keep your your glutes parallel to your shoulders, if I'd like to say. Just keep your body in a straight line. A minute, a minute thirty, as long as you can hold. And then you wanna you wanna quickly superset. Again, if you have a belt, if you don't, that's better. Doesn't matter. It's better if you have one. Once you're that, now at this point. After both uh, exercises, your st your core should be very, very fatigued. Now, see, you're going to do a couple of these as much as you feel like, as much as you think you can handle and whatever is a good rep range. You know, really engage your core. This, this, this type of movement after the other two slowly, like it takes off most of the of the core like uh, aggression but there is still core activation like you are working your legs and your lower back but you're still you know okay so after the first movement of your crunches or sit-ups really engaging that concentric and eccentric portion and tiring out the core and then after the the superset with the with the with the static movement your core should, should have been really tired and then you hit it with a with the no rest triple superset of doing uh, squats or any type of uh, compound movement, it can be push-ups. If you have a, uh, if you have weights, you can deadlift, whatever. But I, I like to put push-ups and squats because they're just body weight. Anybody can do them. That really engages the core, but you're also taking focus off the core onto the legs or chest or whatever. So it sort of gives your core break, but at the same time you're still engaging, you're still activating it. And the last thing to put a cherry on top is you want to get your belt. If you don't have one, just really push out your gut, you know, really get that abdominal push, for example, if you're going for one or a max, right now I am doing that, you know, just push, embrace your core, exert force, great abdominal, like, pressure, you know, and once you do all those four, you can take a rest for as long as you for as long as you really need and yeah take a rest as long as you need repeat that two to three times a day you know um, giving yourself respect that you are outputting 195 percent of your effort you know I'll leave the rep ranges up to you but just put in 95 100 percent you don't want to fool yourself you don't want to play yourself so that's a really great uh, four uh, four part superset I like to do with two to three sets. I'd like to say every other day or every third day. Why? Because you let's, you are doing your chest days, your squat days at home, so you're gonna give your core a rest with proper nutrition and sleep. So yeah, this is something you can do at home to maintain your core. Possibly get abs if you are, you are a newbie. And uh, yeah, gain muscle if you're already trained. And uh, hopefully. When you step back in the gym, your core will be ready, activated, and ready to hit those PRs. While the people who haven't done something like this, who haven't done a circle, who haven't trained, who haven't maintained their core, they'll be far further back than you. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, please share, like, subscribe, and stay tuned.